Trichinella spiralis, the pork worm. This is a small nematode that occurs in rodents, pigs, horses, bears, and humans. This parasite is ovoviviparous. Ovoviviparous means that the eggs are fertilized inside of the female. This allows her to retain the eggs until they hatch within her body, giving birth to live larvae. Here's a diagram of the life cycle of the pork worm. An infected pig is eaten by humans. This allows the nematode to arrive in the intestines where the adults will reproduce. The female will give birth to live young, the larva, which will migrate and insist in various muscle tissues. In these cysts, they will feed and mature. These cysts are called nurse cells, and after they've matured, the adults will leave the nurse cells and reproduce in the intestine. Symptoms of a trichinosis infection. Within 12 hours, you can start experiencing nausea, vomiting, sweating, and diarrhea. Within five to seven days, you should see some facial edema and a fever. Within 10 days, you can have intense muscle pain, difficulty breathing, reduced blood pressure, and pulse. In extreme and untreated cases, this parasitic infection can lead to death. If the larva migrate and insist in other tissues, you can see myocarditis in the heart, nervous disorders, respiratory problems, and kidney failure. Let's look at some slides of Trichinella spiralis encysted inside of muscle tissue. Here we can see a series of cysts that each have a Trichinella larva, and we can see them interspersed within the muscle fibers of a diaphragm. When we increase the magnification by using the 10x objective for a total magnification of 100 times, we can now see the worms a little more clearly. We can start to differentiate some different parts of the various larvae. By the time we use the 40x objective for a total magnification of 400 times, we can actually see the anterior end of the larva. This is going to be the midgut, and this would be the posterior end of the larva within its nurse cell. Diagnosis and treatment of trichinosis. Usually this is diagnosed using muscle biopsies, but there are several immunodiagnostic tests. Patients are treated with the following drugs, but the efficacy is uncertain. Mebendazole, albendazole. You can treat the symptoms with analgesics and corticosteroids. Pigs usually don't show symptoms unless they're heavily infected. There are tests for pigs and treatments with antihelminthic drugs. It's very important to remember to cook your pork adequately to avoid getting trichinosis.